it is 9-12 and we're going to officially um, have a call to order. Um, I'm going to quickly add something to the agenda um, that's not already here. Under new business, it's C, press information, board information. I'd like to add an additional um, piece onto the new business talking about um, board commission orientation um, in which um, Connie and I attended and parliamentary procedures. So we'll discuss that under new business. Um, at this point, I'd like to go ahead and start and um, have us review um, the minutes from the previous meeting. And I'll give us a few minutes to read through those thoroughly. It's not just me, that's one of the things that we're going to have to talk about. So, okay. year's business revenue mm -hmm. business. Um, we did 21 events. We did have a few cancellations because of weather with our clubs. Mm -hmm. um, either they just didn't show up or they canceled ahead of time. They, they're they elderly. They, okay. know, they look out the window and if it looks bad, a lot of times they just decide not to come. Um, it, it was. And um, especially my group that meets in the auto house um, doesn't, doesn't like the snow and stuff. 
What group is that? Um, it's one of my little stitching groups. They're oh. called Society. I, I'm still trying to figure out everybody who's who and the yep. yeah. that stuff. So okay. It's called um, Callahan House Lady So Society. Okay. okay. And they're they're actually a really small group. They're um, seven people, and they moved to the auto house a couple of years ago because um, they didn't want to climb the stairs anymore. Mm -hmm. But the complication of the auto house is that the driveway takes a while to clear off, even when it's been shoveled and plowed, and, and uh, they they don't want to fall. So they they often make a decision not to come when the water's bad. They probably have their hands full. Yeah. Well, they all have big bags, and right. Um, right. Yeah. If it's snowing, just assume they're not going to Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have a quick question on this. Um, okay. And I hate to interrupt your report, but so on our groups that are here and listed that come, are they listed and open to the public so that people have access to those, to those clubs? No, they are not, and most of them are private clubs. They're private they, clubs. They don't take openings from the public, mm -hmm. most, most of them. Um, the bridge groups, of course, are signed, sealed, and delivered because they can only play with personal so many numbers. Um, most of the stitching groups are, um, are also closed. My domino group is closed. Um, the only one that's wide open is the book club, and she does all of her own advertising. Okay. And anybody who wants can come. So okay. I just wanted to have a clarification. Yeah. For the most part, they're closed. And if if they're not, the person we approach is the person in charge of the group. And if somebody asks me, I refer them to the groups. Okay. Is it the stitches? I thought they were the little Twisted stitches, they kind of are and they kind of aren't. So mm -hmm. they do all of their own recruitment and member mm -hmm. management. And all we do is collect the dues and make the house available. Okay, but we do have a list of which clubs meet here. And Absolutely. Have would you like the list? Uh, no. Um, uh, uh, well, actually, I would. Um, I just want to make sure that um, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm sorry, Kathy. Um, we'll go ahead and continue with your manager's report. I, uh, but that was a question, and I, if I wait, I'll forget. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we do post it by the door, too. But yeah, okay, it's great. posted in the building. Okay, great. Um, every month. Um, we had two city events, um, one of which was our board meeting and the other which was our sponsorship meeting for the fundraiser. Um, we had 10 clubs. Um, we, we had four revenue generating events, which for February is like a, a, a modern miracle. Mm -hmm. um, we, did, we did have one photo shoot, but it's in the revenue generating events because they paid. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we had one other event, which was um, there were a couple of high school students from Old Columbine mm -hmm. that were doing a project on haunted uh, Longmont, and they called and asked if they could interview somebody. And since um, Dory Spence was doing events both in um, this January and February, I uh, had them call Dory, and Dory agreed to do an interview with them on film. So they came and, and met with Dory and filmed her on the haunted history of the Callahan House. Wonderful. So, and we did that um, because it was related to a to a school project. We did that for free. Wonderful. Um, we had 40 inquiries in February, which is up from last year. Um, nine by phone, 29 by email, and then we actually had two walk-ins, which is also not not normal. Um, in the February photography, um, we had one paid photo shoot, which was. Um, it was four kids that were going to the um, Tim Tebow uh, event that they put on for um, kids with um, mental and physical challenges. And it was like prom. And they and because of the weather, they wanted to somewhere inside to take pictures. And she called and booked an hour and they came in and took their pictures. They were all dressed up. It was so excited. And then the interview that we talked about. Um, our email distribution was kind of interesting this month. We had um, one that just came straight through email, one from Wedding Sites and Services. Wedding Wire is still a winner with 13. Um, City of Longmont, we got eight. Uh, Event Tected, we got one. And we got five from the Knot, which again, that's climbing, which I find very encouraging. Um, we're getting some traction with the Knot. Um, we only had 179 guests in February. Um, we have three new revenue generating events for 2020 and none for 2021, which is pretty normal. We had um, one catered event with four guests. Um, the city event value was $467. Ben, do you know what that is? 
No, do you remember what that is for last time? Well, when we, because we get almost no revenue from the clubs, I've been trying to quantify the value of their time in the house so we could at least, you know, compare it with if we okay. rented it. Okay. So when we have a city event, based on what portion of the house and grounds they use, I just calculate a number based on the amount of time from setup to the end of cleanup. If we rented it, that's what we would have. We need to keep track of that for grant reasons anyway. Mm -hmm. We're going to be applying, so that's wonderful. Yeah, I have it. I have it all. And then the club event value was almost four thousand dollars. We're up to twenty-four revenue events booked in twenty twenty and two in twenty twenty-one. Forestry came back again. I thought they were done, but they came back again, awesome. and they did all of the the trees on the street. So they spent a whole other day here working on the boulevards. Um, uh, trimming the trees on the street. Is there <coughs> any way that we can um, send a thank you in appreciation for what they're doing? I, I did send a thank you. I could send another one, but I sent a note to um, the gentleman who's in charge of forestry now, and I'm, his name, I'm calling a blank right now, but they, they did a wonderful job. It was uh, Ernie. I sent a note to Ernie and told them I really appreciated their hard work, and I really appreciated them being proactive and coming without being asked. And um, what he told me was that it was a pleasure to work on trees that had been so well maintained. That they didn't always have that, that opportunity. A lot of the trees they work on haven't been taken care of. And he was, they just like to come here. I think it's great. And I think it's important that we um, keep a good working relationship with them. And so thank yous and, and showing appreciation for a job well done is so important. I mean, we should write, uh, and Karen, I hate to say that this falls on you now because mm -hmm. you're, you're giving the thank you notes. Can we do a thank you note from the board as well to appreciate it? Mm -hmm. I, I, I did that. I did that. You did do that? Um, yeah, yeah, that's I right. At the last that. meeting, I did that. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Connie. Yeah. I appreciate that so yeah. much. Um, it's, it's just that we're talking about That's right. Because I gave you the permission to make sure that. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate they, it. they do such a good job. And they, they this time, they haven't been proactive in the past. They were always reactive. Um, and I got very good responses from them. But it was more I would call them and they would come. Um, this is the first time since I've been here that they just showed up, which well, is refreshing. Wonderful. And let's just yeah. keep the yeah. working relationship positive. Well, yeah. I'll call them, too. I haven't even talked to the person that replaced Ernie. Ken. Well, Ernie didn't replace Ken. Ernie's the oversees everything on the ground. But Ken's replacement, I haven't talked to. So I'll call him and tell him yeah. where he's. I thought Ernie did the job. I'm pretty sure that's else, what they announced. Somebody else that the uh, Yeah, we'll all look at it too. There's a new person. You need to find I will find out. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Ernie got Ken's job. I will find out. I will talk with Ernie got I'm pretty sure we appreciate it. I'm pretty sure Ernie got Ken's job. I think that was the answer. Okay. Which would make me happy. Yep. I like Ernie a lot. Um as far as the stove goes, I'm still discussing the installation with the vendor so we can get a quote for the delivery. Okay. And the installation. Um they haven't come back circle back around since before I left on vacation. Okay. So I'm waiting on that and I can't order it until we get that settled because it all has to if the stove gets here before the installation stuff is resolved, we we can't do that. Okay. And the other thing, I, I took a hard look at it yesterday again. Um, there is not a shutoff valve for the gas behind the stove. So I'm also going to call facilities or put in a health star with facilities and see if they can come install a shutoff valve to make this whole process easier. Um, and, and technically, we should have that in place anyway for safety reasons. So there's a shut off for the house. They're just it. and honestly, we have a lot of those issues with this house. Mm -hmm. We can't turn the water off without going out into the street. So we have there's uh, there's a lot of 125 year old issues <laughs> with the house. Sure. So, um, but but if we can resolve some of those safety issues while we're, we're working, working on, on it, then awesome. Safety is a big deal. Wonderful. Um, so we're, I'm still working on it. Um, I did do a final walkthrough on the fence with the painters. Um, they did a few touch-ups, mm -hmm. and um, Chris Davis was going to go ahead and issue payment for them. So that's all done. And just as a side note, they painted our hitching post. I, wa I walked in. And I was wa I was here the day they, the last day they painted, and um, and I talked to the owner of the business, and and I said, you know, is there any possibility you could you could paint this too? <laughs> she looked at it. and She said, oh, she says that's going to look really bad. 
once the fence looks beautiful, that's going to look awful. Yeah. So they did, they painted it. Oh, wonderful. So um, it's, that's all done, and we have the extra paint. Um, and I have um, a phone call from last week from a welder about fixing <coughs> the north fence, so I'm working on that. Okay. Um, I went to a camera class on the new camera at Mike's Camera in Denver, and it was fascinating. The things these cameras can do is, are just amazing. So I, I still have one more class to go to, plus they, I have a 30 minute review one on one with one of the guys from Mike's camera. So I'm working on that so that I can figure out, what I'm really interested in is like getting burst pictures and figuring out you know the things I can do to make the pictures better. So thank you, Kathy. That's the great. Camera, the camera is amazing. So and it was uh, it was a steal. It was five hundred dollars off. And, and so we've got we're gonna get some pictures. <coughs> is there any way that you can have notes or share that with uh, Jackie? So so we we've got the. Um, <laughs> If anything happens to you, we're in trouble. <laughs> the really, the really good news is there's, there's a really good manual. That's a lot of pressure. And Mike's camera does these classes periodically. Okay. It, it literally was a guy from Lumix that came and did the class. I think what a great opportunity. And again, thank you for doing that. But again, it, Okay, how do we make sure that we oh, we've got this great camera? Well, let's make sure every we yep. know how to use it. Use and it. If something yeah. happens, oh, we'll have to bubble wrap you. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I, I don't think the camera is that whole problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just this is an FYI. Yeah. Yeah. It's the camera is like the least of the problems. <laughs> <laughs> and, ja and Jacqueline is learning. She, she did a great job of covering for me while I was behind. I had all these lovely little outlines of everything she did with attachments and, oh. and, and Jacqueline so you prefer to be called Jacqueline I am still learning I apologize <laughs> it's all right. okay um, all right okay so that and oh and I had, and then I had a lovely lunch with my son and his partner and his partner's mother and it was so really nice good for you late lunch they were all sitting there eating when I got there um, Jacqueline's new desk her phone, her computer, and her monitor are all set up. It's amazing. And, and it does slide out the door and into the closet when necessary. So yeah. a, a, a little bit Harry Potter-ish, but we, we, we absolutely are so glad that you have a place to work. But she, she actually has the nicest room in the house. I, I do have She has the balcony. Windows. She can hear the fountain. It's nice. It's also the hottest room in the house, which will make you happy because you're always cold. No, I'm always hot. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> We're getting new air conditioners this summer, or okay. this spring, so that's the other thing. Okay. Um, we have a few things we need to work on, like she needs new drivers for the color printer, but it's all, and we're getting her an ID so she can have her own email. So all of that is in process, and she actually has a city phone, because mm -hmm. now that we have next flight, we can, um, she's actually voice over IP, and she's plugged right into the router, and it has the same, um, it basically she's not, she can't receive calls on it because, um, actually they, can, they, can, they, can, they can, we can only call out, because what I didn't want to have to do is keep track of two phone lines and two message boxes, and that's just, yeah. but, but the good news is she and I can both be on the phone at the same time, it and looks like we're up. both calling from the house number, um, with the caller ID set up for Callahan House, and um, and we have our own workspaces because we were constantly <laughs> fighting <laughs> over the desk. So it's crazy. She when your arm wrestles, then most of the day yeah. arm wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I work yeah on it's not real effective. So uh, okay. that'll give her a chance to learn to learn Word and learn Outlook and uh, get up to speed on calendars and do that. You know, when she has time to do it around her other duties as opposed to like trying to dodge me in the process and um, it was not a particularly expensive thing for us we paid for the desk uh, we paid 130 dollars for the phone and the monitor was 185 and we're in, and we already had the laptop so we're we're in business okay. so it's good news um, sam and i met with christina sims she is one of the people in the city that has been particularly successful with grants um, so she yes. and I sat down, we, we sat down and talked about 
um, the ins and outs of doing grants. She had some really wonderful suggestions, um, both about getting the grants and about administering the grants once you have them. Okay. And um, some interesting commentary along the lines of how to use the money we're already spending to um, help us do part of the matching fund stuff. Which, which kind of helps us and kind of doesn't. doesn't. Well, we still have to have the money. Yes. So, but the good news is we, if we raise a certain portion of it and we had some of it in the fund, we, we could use some of our staffing, some of the, the money we already spent on the building, some of those things to show, at least on paper, that we have the matching funds. Yes. So I thought it was that she uses um, staffing stuff, but a lot of her grants have been for programs. Mm -hmm. So we'll, I'll spend some more time on that, and when I have a better feel for how that's going to work, we'll talk about it some more. Okay. Um, I also had a very preliminary discussion with Jeff about maybe using um, some of the PD145 funding for part of the matching funds as well, and a discussion about um, seeing if we can't get facilities to cough up some money and or do a one-time project. But that's all so preliminary, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it right now. Okay. And Ben's going to be part of that process. Okay. Yeah, budget's kind of here. We'll yep. work on some of those things, making sure we at least have the men as requests. Um, there is an existing CIP for, for the things you're talking about, but it's unfunded. And probably not likely to get funded. It's unlikely. Yeah. But Jeff thought we would probably have better luck with a one-time yeah, funding agree. and or some PB went $45. So he, we're going to sit down and have a discussion about that. Okay. I, I think that's kind of where we're heading is that we're planning on doing the one-time funding effort. Yes. Yeah. my understanding. Yeah. Well, it's, it's it well, maybe we'll some combination. We'll continue with both. I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll continue with the CIP, trying to get that done. We'll continue with one-time. So we'll just keep trying all of our avenues. Right. So, but one time will certainly be our push because if you get that, then it's done. PB 145 ends up being a filler. So yeah. It's a, it's a different, different sort of thing. Um, April is, is pretty busy. Um, we've picked up a lot of little stuff. Um, we have a baby shower and two bridal showers. Um, we are getting a lot of traction for the upstairs room at the moment. So um, that, that's good news. And um, we picked up another one yesterday for the 3rd of May. So they're little ones and we don't make a lot of money, but it's, um, it's all, it all goes in the coffers and it all adds up. And it all creates another um, set of happy customers and guests who are gonna go tell somebody else about the house. And, and that's really what the is. purpose of the house is. So yeah, yeah. I'm all happy. It's, it's cheap advertising. Yeah. Speaking of that. That. Do, how do we? I was looking at our website the other day and like our reviews, and some of them are kind of older. How, do we, when we have people, do we ask? Them we do. Their and certainly with the big events, we don't really ask with the little events. So I thought if we could get some new reviews posted up there. I, I, I ask after every big event for a review, but the the rate that at which they respond is about ten percent. Mm -hmm. So we reviews are kind of hard to collect. Um, but I have made a concerted, concerted effort um, for the last five years to ask for reviews after every big event. So I think I think we've got like 25 reviews out there on Wedding Wire. Um, Let's get Rebecca Cross to the Well, but the, the problem is, is most of the sites that we're on are wedding sites. And if they do a non-wedding related Function. review, they somehow they never show up. So that's... We, maybe we can get her to do a Google one or something, but we will. We will. I ask everybody. Um, club re renewals are almost complete. Um, the questers are going to be here on Thursday, and they're bringing their money to the meeting. And um, there's a few members of the Twisted Stitchers that haven't been here yet in 2020, so they aren't paid. Everybody else is paid in full, and, it's, and we're pretty much done with it. Um, I sent out all the May and June invoices. Um, payments are trickling in. Um, the July invoices will go out in the next two weeks. And what, what that is is 190 to 120 days before the event, they, they need to pay 50% of the expected um, fees. So I'm sending out invoices for the, for the additional 45-ish percent for each of them. And that's also, um, it's a lot of work because we have to kind of sit down and drudge our way through exactly what they're doing and whether they're going to have additional rentals and at least push them to make some decisions so that they can, so we can send them a bill that's representative of what we think they're doing. 
So I've been doing a lot of estimates and I've been doing a lot of rental orders and tweaking and so. But that's all in process and it's working quite well. Uh, I got the ice cream social and rec track so that we can do ticket sales through rec track at all of the recreation facilities. And I also put it in the summer 2020 recreation magazine, which I'll be reviewing um, today today or early into tomorrow morning to make sure that we're, we're in there. Uh, the city of Longmont applied their new marketing look. Does everybody, is everybody familiar with that? It's kind of a southwestern motif, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, but they actually applied that look and feel to the website and asked that everybody take the time to make sure that it, it works seamlessly on their pages. So I spent some time um, just going through all of our pages and making sure the links worked and that it looked right. And I did find a couple of um, very odd links that I'm going to get fixed. And um, I still have some tweaking to do on that. So I'm doing, I'm kind of doing a review of the website in the next couple of weeks. Um, I also met with Amy um, Weary from Wedding Sites and Services just to get an idea on how we could do a better job of leveraging our presence on their site. So I'm working on that too. She gave me some really good ideas. Um, we haven't had any event cancellations. Um, we had a booking from the Boulder County Health and Human Services for a retreat, okay. which I think is very encouraging because we've gotten many, many calls from the county uh, since I've been here, and typically they decide they don't have enough money to do it, no matter how inexpensive it is, <laughs> and they don't come, and this lady was just tickled me. Oh, so and they came from over from the hub mm -hmm. to um, do their retreat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. um, we picked up another, um, Rebecca Cross booked a rehearsal dinner for June 4th, and her mother-in-law, after trying to book Hover Home and not being successful, um, for whatever reason, she didn't tell me. She told me, she just wants to cover Oh, really? Well, there you go. She said it was more airy and sunny. Good, good. Well, she called, we had been working with her, and she called and said, oh, we're going to do something different. And then while I was gone, she called back again and talked to Jacqueline and came and took a peek. And they're going to do a um, little tea party upstairs for 20 with um, Greens Quake Catering. So the reason they went to Hover Home originally is they thought it'd be fun to have a little tea for, you know, old Victorian homes. homes. Yeah. yeah. It was like a tea. Yeah. So, and we're, we're still talking. It's going to require a lot of setup uh, because they want to use. Um, the house teacups and they want to use our little trays from upstairs and so <laughs> I'm, I'm in conversations with Susie at Greenpoint about the appropriate level of staffing for that and um, we're working on it. Okay. So um, and uh, we sent out a uh, wedding sites and services email to almost 300 leads, um, eight opt-outs, 16 bounces and I have had one inquiry so I think okay. that's encouraging. All right, cool. Thank and you. Then, or, or are you? Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, just, just a couple. Just a couple things. Um, uh, we are in the black. That's basically the message on the first page. Wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is very unusual this early in the year. We don't usually hit that until June or July. Okay. Um, we're up to 51 events with 516 guests. Uh, nothing truly remarkable about the meetings uh, this month. You can see um, in the clubs that there were several cancellations. And then um, and the atten even the meetings we had, attendance was down because of the weather. Um, we had a lot of tours in February. And um, we had, like I said, um, was it three or four revenue generating events. Um, Laura Lee did her, um, her photo shoot for the kids that were going to Tim Tebow's event. Um, we had another memorial, which was really nice. We're picking up a fair amount of that kind of business. Um, Dory came back with her haunted history tour again and had 60 attendees again. Wonderful. Um, and um, Jennifer Davis did a stitching class with a, an instructor from Italy, which I was hoping, was really glad it didn't get canceled. So uh, all of their crowd was very small this year compared to the ones they've done in the past. Um, nothing too crazy about the expenses. Um, you can see um, Jacqueline's monitor. I haven't got the phone in the equation yet because I haven't seen it build. Uh, trying to start stocking up for summer events, um, picking up lemonade and um, 
wedding congratulation cards and things like that. Um, we paid for our Art Walk sponsorship, and that's about it. All right. Sorry, no push. But okay, thank you so much, Kathy, and thank you for all your feedback. So moving forward, we're going to go ahead and talk about um, old business. Unfortunately, Anne's not here. Um, I'm not sure what. I think we just have to pass it by. Do, is there any update on the dresses? Uh, we're actually no. There's no update. We are going to go and attend the event. I'm very excited. I got my tickets for that. Um, we do. I do have a couple of updates when it comes to that. I have talked to Diane Wood. She is confirmed. She will be here for our walk. I also have a in what capacity? Um, as an artist, she, she does the pastel artwork, okay. Okay, and she has done. So she's not going to do a live demonstration. She's actually going to bring artwork. She is going to bring artwork. Okay. Um, and I, she's very excited. I am very excited to have her. She's got a great name, and she's mm -hmm. also got a great following, which means mm -hmm. she helps advertise the event mm -hmm. herself yeah. as well. Yeah. I also have a contact um, for a uh, Leslie. Um, I talked to Leslie Caprizi who tried, who I was hoping would come and show as well. She's an amazing artist um, for jewelry, but I have, um, she was unable to do it, but she has put me on to another lead of um, a Leslie um, Emerson, who is a B um, artist who um, has a major following throughout the state. And so um, I was hoping to possibly get her. I had also seen that we were looking at um, Anne has it on through the minutes that Anne was also speaking to a, uh, another artist. I don't want to overbook our space, mm -hmm. so that's a concern. I had, um, had waited to um, confirm with Leslie until I was hoping to speak with Anne today. Anne's back, so you consider an email. Okay. So I would recommend that. Don't um, we just have room for four or five? Essentially. Decide, yeah. yeah, so I just want to make sure, but it, with the dresses, I, I would hope that we could have some similar um, cohesion in um, how, how it flows mm -hmm. um, visually mm -hmm. and textual, textually is what I'm really hoping and I really think it's important that we can get a um, some people out there that will help broadcast that we're here and open for our walk so that we'll yeah. have, have a large group come in and um, I'm also hoping with the dresses depending on how many we can get um, and uh, the type. Um, I'm hoping that we can get a good uh, possible um, interview with the newspaper and, and get some more pu free publicity out there. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important. And I thought, um, speaking, I was hoping again um, to speak with Ann about working with Art Walk um, themselves and see exactly how we can get them to help advertise us. Well, we'll be on their map. I understand we'll that. We'll be on their map, and um, but sometimes a little face time really helps. Yes, yeah. I've been I've been communicating with Brandy Coons, okay, and um, so the the one thing we have to be a little careful of is overselling it, so that we have if we have too many people, then we have a problem too. I so, and we've been getting about between three hundred and four hundred, which is pretty manageable. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's the case, but I also know that um, it's really important that we keep um, Hover Home active in the sense of a, a view, even for the people that don't necessarily have the ability to come and see right. the home, they'll read about the home, and that's important. Well, and we'll post on Facebook yeah. several times that week um, through the City of Longmont website. Yeah, uh, it's in Hover Home. We know what you meant. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. We're like, I thought, like, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, she, 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 she left her in there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's awesome. Awesome. Callahan House, I know where I'm at. Really. It's just going to die. Just ignore that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's, in ignore the, that. it's in the fold out for the recreation magazine for the activity calendar. Okay. Um, so we're present in a lot of places already. So, it, But it, you're right. Any extra advertising we can get? The more the better. I, I just believe in being so proactive. Yeah. We used to do some signage. I remember we put some signs in planters and corners. You know, we have we have stopped doing that because our um, our flow has been very reliable. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and and also because um, it was it never was really very sanctioned. 
<laughs> shall we say? I mean, we, what we what we used to do is we made some signs yeah. and we said, uh, you know, I think they said, follow the roses to the Cali yeah. House we're oh, open, oh, yeah. or something. And we would go down. They were on um, borrowed, or shall we say, loaned uh, paint sticks from Home Depot. I went in and asked to buy them, <laughs> and they said, oh, we don't sell those. And I said, well, I'm trying to get something to do some signage for the Callahan House, and they said, oh, just take as many as you want. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't sell those. We don't count them. We don't, you know. Just take what you want. So we made some signs, and they said, you know, follow the rose path to the Callahan House, and, and we would go out right before Art Walk and stick them in all the planters on Main Street, and then at the end of the evening, the we would we would have to send the people who stuck them in back to get them, yeah. so that we got them all. And um, we quit doing that when our crowds kind of got big enough that we yeah. felt like it was a we a, didn't have to do that a reasonable yeah. event for us for two reasons. One, because it was kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. um, and the person who usually took them out was not always here at the end, so we had trouble finding them at the end. <laughs> and secondly, because it, it was, um, it, it was, it was, it, it, we weren't told we couldn't do it, but we were. It was a little frowned on because we were doing um, illegitimate signage without a without a permit. <laughs> so um, we want to be sure that we're in city code at all times, yeah. Yeah, and that we don't want to be doing the Easter egg hunt, except it was the, would be the rose hunt, wouldn't it? Because it was rose signs. Yeah. Okay, there you yeah. Go. So Karen didn't tell us we couldn't do it, but she did ask to not be told we were doing it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, so, no. Well, that was I was here when we were first starting yeah. to be part. Of well, and nobody was showing up. We yeah. were getting like a hundred people. Right. All right. Yeah. So we were trying to drum up any yeah. business. How many yeah. years? We I have had several people though, like who like stopped by on the tour, and they're like, I tell them well, we are open for tours during Art Walk and the Holiday Open House, and they act like I never heard of that. How do I know? Oh, when is it? Um, and so, that's exactly yeah, what that's, I've been running into. So well, and it's I'm, on the website. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the other thing is, you know, I did serve as um, the executive director for the Long Island House of the Arts for seven years, and um, I worked with um, the firehouse and other things. And I honestly was not aware that you guys were open. So, it's from that standpoint yeah. of view. I if I do, I wasn't aware of it, and I've gone to Art Walk for years and mm -hmm. was never aware that we were open. So that's my point of view. That right. you know, okay, if I didn't know about it, right. there's a lot of people that don't know about it, and it's it's important to me mm -hmm. um, that I'm doing the best I can. Right. Yep. So mm -hmm. the other issue that we need to discuss is um, on the art on the Art Walk, and this is going to tie in with the ice ice cream social. Um, what would happen if we have to cancel these events with the coronavirus mm -hmm. and everything? We would uh, just we, cancel them. Are we going to um, have additional expenses that we weren't, or that we would occur that would be an issue? No. Okay. I, I don't. I think we could easily delay any in kind sponsorships um, and reschedule. Okay. Uh, I think we would have, we would have to circle back with our sponsors and and tell them what we were doing and there's a chance some of them may want their dollars back. Mm -hmm. But I don't think for the most I, part. I don't think there's a big exposure. Okay. I, I just, we don't incur a ton of expense. Um, and honestly we're gonna wait as long as we can on the things that aren't reusable like printing. Okay. Um, so I, I will probably go ahead and buy the tickets, but I'm not gonna print them. Okay. Uh, and things like that. And I you know I think the other thing is we could as long as we don't tear them apart in the we could easily, even if they were printed, flip them over and put a new date or something on them. Okay, I, I just, I don't want to be reactionary, but I also want to be proactive so that we are in a place that we can roll with the punches and be fine. Yep. Um, it would be uh, ignorant on our part to assume that um, we wouldn't have an issue. Mm -hmm. um, same goes with uh, going about um, our this could also affect our, our groups because we have a lot of elderly groups it's, coming in. I, I expect it, it is going to affect our groups. So. Go ahead and back up about the dresses again because we're going to see yes. how many we can get to come. Mm -hmm. Last time we had the wedding dress in the bride's room, you know, and mm -hmm. nobody could go and touch it and everything. Then we had something here. We don't want well, to touch it. Well, that's it. Yeah. So are we going to 
live at the number we have and it's just in one room because we've got other artists or how well we we had discussed that we would, we would like three but is that in one room three is our maximum in one room i think we had four yeah. last time didn't we jacqueline we had three in the bride's room and one downstairs i thought Okay, that's fine. But I thought Anne wanted to try to get like five this time and have one okay. in each room. That was what I saw. So one discussion because you don't want them touched. Well, so I, I think the big thing is depending on the, on the pieces, how big they are, mm -hmm. and how we can stage them. And I think that's one of the things. Um, I, I thought what discussing from what you were saying, Kathy. Ideally, three. We could go maximum four. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really kind of where we're at due to space. Well, and last time we had two and two or three in the bride's room. I'm just trying to remember how many. Yeah. And we put stanchions up so they couldn't yeah. get to them right. and touch them. Right. And then we had one in the lobby. And uh, because we're, we always have somebody in the lobby, we manage that just you know yeah. verbally asking them not to touch them. But so I think I, I got the impression Anne wanted to have like one in the auto house, one in the parlor, yeah. one in the foyer. <laughs> the <laughs> well, yeah. can't we put them in the corner with the sanction around Well, but we don't have that many stanchions, so then we start to increase our expenses to rent stanchions, and they're not inexpensive. They're Even like, if we did like just a ribbon or something like we that? Could, we could do a, we'll, we'll a, figure a it out and mm -hmm. figure something, and we also could put one of us in there with it. Oh, yeah, well, the other thing I, I just want people to remember is we have other artists mm -hmm. and the rooms are small. So mm -hmm. I really don't think taking up an entire corner of a room that's already small to begin with is really fair to the other artists. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think we should limit I think we should limit it to the foyer and the bride's room and maybe the, uh, the burgundy room. Instead of trying to push dresses into the rooms where we've already committed to the artist that yeah, is their space. Are we having the, the video? The document, probably, but that room's a big room. It's we can figure it out. Um, I, I think, again, common sense, we're going to have to look yeah. and see how big the pieces are mm -hmm. and, and where mm -hmm. they're willing to work with us. Right. So. Well, and I don't want one in the auto house because we don't. We don't have enough bodies to okay. stack up there. Somebody, yes. That would be a waste of well, she, resources. I think she and the same, just like open the shit. I know. But just put it, put in, put the it in the door. Window. Yeah, we could do that. We could, we do could that. just put it in the window. Yeah, yeah, we could open the shade on the door and just and so leave it locked. Look in. That would be good. Yeah, and leave it that locked. Too. That's a wonderful idea. Yeah. That's that's what what we usually do is we put the poster about their cars mm -hmm. in the window and just open the shade so people can see in there. But we'll figure out the logistics of how to display them when we figure out how many we have. And as far as that goes, I talked with Craig um, about possibly doing a sign up of some kind for um, you know the, the artists who are interested in displaying their dresses again. Because usually, when they spend months and months and months working on these, because they have a show and then look, they're, they're that's the trash, you know. So they they are kind of eager to display it again but i don't have a way to communicate with them before the show so i thought of doing like a sign up or something but ann and i discussed then what if we have and this sounds bad but what if we have a designer sign up who wants to display their dresser but we don't think it's an appropriate dress you know maybe last year i went and hand picked the ones that i wanted i think it would be prudent and beneficial on our behalf when we invite an artist to come in, we know kind of the work in advance. Yep. And we, we then do a invitation. So Unfortunately, the sign up, because we're having an open display to the public mm -hmm. under our block and we, it reflects on the Callahan house itself, I think we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying it's a little harder on us that way because we will have to like mm -hmm. be quick about approaching. Absolutely. You know, so it's yeah. going to have help this year. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Either way, it's going to be difficult that we're, mm -hmm. we're doing this, but I think, mm -hmm. and we need to formulate the letter or how we're approaching so we come back. We comes back to doing things in an orderly, systematic way that we're all in unison and it doesn't come across as unprofessional in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, because it reflects badly on us and on the city and mm -hmm. um, it has this waterfall effect. That we, mm -hmm. and so so prior to us going, um, that's one of the things we have to discuss. If so. it doesn't be careful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, knock on wood. Um, I, I, again, let's, yeah. let's yeah. work like we're going to do. Um, moving right along, um, so we 
continuous um, that we're going to have to work on our walk. Um, ice cream social. Haven't made a lot of progress. I have a um, list of sponsors for candy that I need to incorporate into our list, and I'll get that done this week. Okay. Um, so I think we need to um, decide when we're going to meet next to work on it, which will give me a deadline, which would be helpful for me to motivate a little bit. Okay. Um, we need to get the packets together, um, and I think um, <coughs> when we have the piece done from uh, the stuff that I'm going to give Sam, and when we have the sponsorship list, that's when we should meet again. Um, I'm going to recommend, and again, I'm going to be discussing some of this, but I would like to put the ice cream social, um, table it for the moment, and put it onto our next um, board meeting's agenda and add it as a working part of the board meeting, and I'll discuss further why we're doing that, but at this point I would like to table that, and I really need to have a motion in order to do that. I can't make motions. I know. Oh, I can yeah. to table, table it until next board meeting. Um, can I have a I second? second it. Okay, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 That's approved. So it will, we are um, tabling the discussion on the ice cream social till the next board meeting, in which we will have a working board meeting session to discuss the ice cream social. Um, and under that comes the, the sponsorship update and um, date for the next meeting. Um, ice Cream Social sponsorship, is that not all incorporated? It okay. is. It is. Um, I'm a little concerned, though, about tabling it for a month uh, because that puts us only three months in advance of the Ice Cream Social. So I, I think we probably need to regroup before April 8th. That's just my comment. Um, and we can talk about it in the context of what you want to talk about with regards to the meetings. I just, I don't think we can wait another month to get out there and start asking for sponsorships unless we think it's going to get canceled because of the I'm concerned. current situation. I'm concerned that it's going to get canceled, uh, to be honest, mm -hmm. um, just because of the overreaction stuff that's occurring. Um, but. I hear what you're saying. Um, my big issue from speaking with everybody is is my understanding most people were going to be gone at the end of this month. Yeah, there's so, a lot of people absent. So I'm not sure how to undo what we just did, first of all. That's um, fine. That's fine. And, I just... and I hear what you're saying. It's, it's going to be a real push, but unfortunately, Kathy, I don't know how to change that. That's fine. I, I, I just. It's going to be a push to go from April, and we're going to have to get our little running shoes on. I well, and maybe we get a couple of us in here to work on getting that list put together and stuff, and put stickers on folders, and just so we can make a little progress in March. Mm -hmm. A little working, yeah. a, a small With, working, yeah, session. a small working small session, working. or a couple small working sessions. Okay, and um, how would we like to do that? Because it can only be three of us. Or even two and me, and two of Jacqueline and I, and two of us. Okay. So, do we have any volunteers that are willing to help put stickers on? Mm -hmm. the last day day. Day. Yeah. Depends on which day. Yeah. Okay. When are you leaving? I leave tomorrow. Okay. For two weeks. Next week. No, okay. just for a week. Okay. So, I'll be here the whole um, last week of March, and then the March April week. So, how about the afternoon of the 17th or the afternoon of the 19th? If we get a couple volunteers to. I know, I just fly back on the 17th. Yeah, I understand. So, okay. If I could get a couple people to just come in and help. And I could um, do the afternoon of the book. Start to put together folders and. So, the afternoon of the 19th? Afternoon of the 19th. I can't do the 19th at all. That's okay. okay. March 19th, should we say 2 o'clock? I can do that. Do you need two of us? Karen and Bobby do it. Mm -hmm. Can you still send that out to all of us so we're aware that's taking place? Kathy, please? Yes. And then we want one more additional day? I, I think one. Why don't we set one and then? 
and see how and it goes see how, it goes and how much progress we make and then okay. we'll, we'll set the next one. Thank you, Kathy. I just want to keep it moving and a little and bit. Bear with me as we're, we're trying to work out all the kinks and figure out how we're doing this. Yes. Well, I know. It's at two o'clock. I'll send you an invite. But I just have a question. I'm in communication with Mr. Tim. So do I go forward? With yes. Yeah. I, I think we're we'll continuing with everything that we already have on the agenda. We're just going to table what we're for this point. Okay, yes. that's fine. Now that we've got this done, okay. <laughs> we're informally trying to get this all figured out. So at this point, let's go ahead and um, now that we've got that, has all um, discussion <coughs> been settled on the ice cream social zone at this point? Yes. Okay. Moving on to new business. Um, board recruitment update. Uh, Candy told me that she, um, the one lady that she had in mind um, couldn't do it right now, and the other lady um, wasn't eligible yet. She would be later in the year. Um, so both of those were um, strikeouts, at least temporarily. Um, and the lady that I have in mind um, isn't eligible until July. So um, if anybody else has somebody they want to approach, I, I don't think it's a huge issue operating down by one for the rest of the year, especially in light of the fact that they're going to have to apply twice and go through those interviews right. twice, and that's a lot to do. So um, if anybody has somebody who's really anxious and would like to get involved, I'll, you know, I'll help them work through the process. But at the moment, we don't have any viable candidates. So just for clarification, um, there, you have one person, another person that's ineligible, but they're still willing to apply once they do become eligible. Yes. And the other person is completely out. Yes, for now. Positive note, we got two people that are willing to eventually possibly apply for the board. Yay. So we're working on it. Karen, do you have anybody that? I don't at this point. All right. Um, so uh, board recruitment, um, moving on to Pioneer Days. And so again, I spoke with Candy. Um, she gave me a list of the dates. Um, the dates for Pioneer Days are April 28th, 29th, 30th, May 1st, May 4th, May 5th, May 7th, and May 8th. And they do three schools a day, one at 9.30, one at 10.30, and one at 11.30. Um, couple of things. I'm, I'm out the 28th on vacation. Um, I will be coming in late on the 29th because I'm flying back early that morning and it's just the process of getting back. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think either one of those days is, is very viable. Um, April 30th is the Questers International Tour, so we can't do it that day. So that leaves May 1st, May 4th, May 5th, and May 7th. For some reason I put tentative on May 8th. Um, the and we haven't spent a lot of time on this yet because Candy doesn't have the lists of the schools, um, and who's coming and what the sizes of the groups are yet. But the thought process was that maybe we start kind of small with some of the smaller groups and maybe invite, they have lunch somewhere, and maybe invite them to have lunch in our garden and either do a, a brief tour of the house and or a, a little talk outside in the garden about the house while they're here. Okay. So that's that's kind of where we're at on that. So I just kind of want you to be thinking about, um, you know, whether or not you're able to work some of those days if we need to. Um, since we're not going to tackle the big groups right away, my guess is that Jacqueline and I can probably handle it. Um, so, but I just wanted to give you an update on what's what we're kind of working on. So if we're waiting for Candy to get the list, mm -hmm. and then we're going to hand pick. A, no, a certain number of groups and invite them personally to um, to come see the house and eat lunch in the garden. So that's yeah, kind they, of what we're doing. They bring doing. sack lunches yeah. for the kids to yeah. so it's, that's easy to do. And I think it's a great opportunity for us. Um, again, I want to put the Callahan house first and make sure that I'm not overbooking myself on volunteering for the Pioneer Days if I'm supposed to be down there or if you need additional help here. So are you feeling that you're covered? I, I don't know yet because I haven't seen the list. So I don't I don't know how many people we're talking about. But uh, Candy and I are, I just want to let you know Candy and I are working on it and when she gets the information, we'll figure it out. Okay. It's, it's very tentative right now. And we may look at it and decide this year, 
isn't the right year to do it. Maybe we need to like mm -hmm. just get ourselves positioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think having the teacher on field trips, they typically have enough bodies to supervise the children already in place. So it would just be a matter of us giving a short informational right. tour. So right. Seems work. So so yeah, Jacqueline, are you feeling comfortable that you could you could do that and that would be mm -hmm. not a problem? Mm -hmm. Otherwise somebody from the board needs to step look at the calendar and we'll step up and split up yeah. days. M my concern is I had my calendar has completely gone topsy-turvy, so mm -hmm. I had said that I had looked at volunteering to be down at Old Mill Park and, and be one of the yeah, people so. that's showing to her, but, but mm -hmm. uh, I just want to make sure that we're covered here first. Mm -hmm. Well, and we do we do have some conflicts of interest. I mean, Candy obviously is and committed down, down there. there Connie's too. committed down there. Okay. So bring in Diane. We, we can certainly bring in Diane. Um, Tara would only be supervisory because she doesn't really know the history. But uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. I, I will make sure, I'm not gonna volunteer then for there and I will volunteer for here and fill in and any days and I will make sure that my calendar's clear so we can, can do what we need to do. We um, aren't the only ones she's taught to do though, are we? Are there other areas where she's given volunteers? She she's working on all the park. She's working on all the she's she's right here. historical society. Yeah, because, right. but because yeah. she's coordinating that for, for all of the schools, That's she's gonna help us figure out how we can play. And coordinate as well. So it's it's very new, it's something we've poked at before but never really like but we'll figure it out. I do tours um, for Longmont Christian every year. Mm -hmm. um, I do tours for a couple of preschools. So it's not it's no, nothing new, and honestly, to do a 15 or 20 minute tour is really not a big deal. As long as we don't have a conflict with another group, our, our right. groups have to come first. Absolutely. So, but again, um, if we can do one like you said outside the house, mm -hmm. even just stepping out by the fence and mm -hmm. pointing out the driveway and all the information yeah. and the history that's involved with it, we can make this work. It's we just can. about when you're going to be gone in conflict of interest. I guess I'm going to make sure that I'm free up on my calendar to do that, and I will make a, a solid commitment to, to um, be on part for that, because I know you're doing that, and I know Candy's. I, I just don't want to over yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah. We're, and we're going we're gonna to start, don't, don't panic about it, we're going to start little. Yeah. We're going to see how it works. No panic. And, and get a feel for logistically what works and what doesn't. Okay. And, um, and then we'll make a larger commitment to it going forward if it makes sense. Okay. That, so and Candy, Candy came up with most of these ideas and it sounds very workable, so we'll figure it out. We're so lucky to have her on a yeah. board. Yeah. And it depends a little bit on the weather too. Yes, so, sure, as well. Yeah. It, is, it is falling right in that fun time of, yeah. of yeah. welcome to Colorado. Yeah. It Spring could be bad yeah. and that be, and then the sun's gonna come out. So right. we'll, we'll play it by ear. So I think we'll be fine, but I think it's a lovely way to, to get the kids in. Yeah. And again, yeah. if we get some of the kinks out this year, the next year when we when we've got the Longmont big an, um, anniversary going on mm -hmm. and celebration, we we are in full swing and we look yeah. seamless. Mm -hmm. Yes, like we got it all planned. That that would be amazing. Um, okay, again, thank you, Kathy, for filling in on that information. For, for so, um, press information and board email. Um, this is I'm actually going to call in. Um, I have the opportunity, and so Connie, to go to um, the board commission orientation, and I've got a packet here that was given to us that if you guys would like to look at it, um, I, I will be more than glad to share it. So it was great in the sense that they gave us information about contacts, how the city is all set up. Now, some of this is accurate, and some of it's still squishy, is what we were told. So, <laughs> so, so it's, it's still it's a yeah. working, it's a work in progress. But this was important to me, for, so we know where we fall in, and it's, it's helpful for us as community members as well. Um, there was also a lot of other information and changes that are taking place, which are going to affect us as being part of the board. So um, 
Again, I have this packet. I'm going to share it with Karen. Please share it among yourselves, and then we'll go from there. I will. Um, is there a way to I'll get, get a soft copy of it and email it. I made myself you. a note already. Thank you. I was working that night, so I couldn't. And the other great thing that we talked about is um, the parliamentary procedure, and that we're going to be running. <laughs> The meetings by Charlie Crow, and I don't know if anybody's familiar with um, Robert's Rules of Order, but that's basically what we're doing. Um, I looked all over my house. You know how you hate you know where that copy is, and then you go and get it. And it's not me, <coughs> and it's been driving me nuts all morning. So, but I do have this great little booklet that they shared with us about the ins and outs of Charlie Crow. We are much more of a community board in the self that we're not going to be hardcore, but we do need to be able to set up our board meetings and run them in a systematic manner that we keep on task, yep. and yet it's very clear and easy for Karen and other people now that we're filming it to follow what we're doing. So the biggest thing is that we are showing that we're open and honest and um, have clear communication for all because everybody has access to our meetings. Anybody can have be welcome to our meetings at any time, mm -hmm. um, including, that's part of the reason we're now having our meetings downstairs. We need to make sure that people have access for wheelchair accessibility. If they're, if they're deaf or blind, um, we have the ability to stop um, the meeting and get them the help and required. we are required by law to do such things and also if we need a um, interpreter. This is all the new regulations that we need to follow and make sure that we're doing, doing all that. That being said, um, I've asked several questions. I have my hand up a lot um, for the city attorney um, because we do our, our working sessions and we have in the past set up our working sessions outside of this. This is one of the questions I asked. And he said we need to make sure that we're making um, that they're open to the public as well with an agenda that is put out in advance and it's not just for us, it is for the public. That the agenda needs to be put out in advance prior to the meeting. Yes. Um, that is one of the new rules and requirements. Um, yeah, I know it seems like a lot. It's just, again, I'd rather be proactive, we can grumble, and, or we could look at it this in a positive way that this keeps us on task and it keeps us um, moving forward in a good way. Has anybody <coughs> complained in the past that we are not running things? Um, no, it's not just us, it's the fact that we have, we have the same rules and procedures for all boards and commissions, that we're all following the same issues, and again, this is a good thing because we might actually get more people involved. And I've got to look at it that way, but it's positive that we we are out there and there might be somebody in the community that has wanted to be involved and didn't know how to become involved. Okay? So this way when they have access to our meetings online and other things, they might say, Oh, I want to do that. And then they can't. They're welcome to be here at and, and again, they're welcome to be. We're not doing anything behind closed doors or, or secretively in any way. So that being said, on some of our meetings, like our fundraising meeting that we've discussed, or some of the other things, we're going to have to change how we set up. And my suggestion, and it is simply a suggestion, because you as the board make the overall decision, um, that we turn our board meetings into working sessions. So we might have an additional board meeting, like maybe the, the third or uh, the third Wednesday of the month that we do a working board meeting um, for the Callahan House and we just keep it as a working board meeting and this is what we're going to discuss and we can say table such things as the ice cream social to be discussed and worked on at the working board meeting which is the the third Wednesday of the month that type of thing it's going to add an additional meeting on to our calendars but if we have a set date and we put it forth, um, again, this is just my suggestion, it, in some ways it makes it easier for Kathy because it is a set on the calendar date and we're not trying to squish everything in. And we can work as little as we need, or if it's a not needed, we can cancel it. Um, 
that's just my suggestion because again, we have to be able to keep it open and keep record of it so the public is aware of it in advance. If you guys have a better idea, I'm open to any suggestions, but I've really been thinking about this on, on how we can do this. It is said that if we have more than three members because of, uh, of the our number size. of people are on our, we are in a quorum and therefore we are, and we are speaking about Callahan business. We have to record what we're saying in minutes or notes because it is considered a meeting. Flat out. So that's why even when we're going and looking at the dresses and stuff, that we're going in separately, that we're showing up separately, we're, we're there working on the board stuff, but we're not discussing anything prior to the, what we're working for. It's, it's all about the sunshine laws. It's all about making sure that we're above board and that. That being said, um, it was also suggested that um, our board emails are open to the public. So if we are currently receiving um, our emails to a private account, which I am, and I'm sure you guys are all doing that, um, it was suggested that we open a separate email simply for Callahan um, minutes or business. Business, business thank you. Thank you. Um, because that is considered public information and they will have access to it. And unless you want to share your whole email with the public, um, it was a suggestion that we do that. Mm -hmm. Or you keep a separate file that you put all information from the Callahan house in that is then can be accessed. Just a folder. A folder. Mm -hmm. So anyway, as a suggestion we, for a city to acquire city emails for all of you? Um, it wasn't suggested that we require a, a city just email, a separate, just a separate email for yeah. the Calhoun House. Gmail or whatever. Gmail yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But simply for, so that we, it's possible that you can set it up. If, if you have any problems, I think between all of us, we can work a way to, to get it, that set up for you. Or for me personally, because I'm just keeping a separate folder in which all information from the Callan House goes into. Mm -hmm. It is just easier to sort my life that way, and I do that anyway. Um, there's nothing in my emails that I would be ashamed to have out there, <laughs> no hidden agenda, but, but it was something that was really um, stressed upon as important and that you need to know that because um, a public information act, this is something that's happening. Mm -hmm. So we can just move our email to a Calhoun House folder. We don't have access. That's that's, that's an option. option. That's one yeah. option. And honestly, most I'd probably say probably ninety percent of our communications mm -hmm. are um, calendar entries. Yes, mm -hmm. and they're and they're going to go on your calendar. Um, ten percent is related to the other, and I mean ten percent of it's just informational. Right. And, Everything I send you is getting filed. Yes. So um, they so they can see you know where it went to, and I have a folder called Callahan House has some other stuff in it, but all of my board communications emails go into that folder. Um, I I think you could just set up a folder and drag those things to that folder, yeah. and ha and you need to hang on to them. Yes. Yeah. They can't. You just can't delete them. I wouldn't delete them. I would just let them sit. Put them in the folder and use up your space, unfortunately. And that goes for any inner emails that we enter email to each other. That is my suggestion that if we are inner if we're emailing, we enter we email to all for the most part because then the information's out there, there's nothing hidden. It's just clearly stated this is what we're doing. We're not doing any secret deals on the side type of thing. Well and if I'm sending stuff to people if you just hit reply all, yes. mm -hmm. it should send it to everybody. That's right. Instead of hitting reply, just hit reply all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so even if it doesn't pertain to anyone. Unfortunately, well, this is the new age of technology, guys, and we we can just, the fact that we can talk to each other so quickly, yeah. but on the yeah. other hand, then everybody's in the loop. There's no hidden information. There's no hidden agendas. We're not doing anything secretive. It's not a secret club. Mm -hmm. 
That's all the dress code. Which attorney was that? Uh, I'm sorry? Which attorney was it? Was, that? It was the head um, uh, city attorney. Um, what was his name? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know? I'm sorry. Yeah, and here's an interesting aside while you look for that. Um, we still have employees that are using their personal emails mm -hmm. for their payroll and stuff. So mm -hmm. that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, so like Jacqueline signed up under the employee self-service with her own personal email. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, it's kind of, cra <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So yeah. what about texting each other? Say I'm going to text Candy about driving to the fashion show or something. I can't I, do that. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that right now. At this point, that wasn't discussed. I'm only going to deal with the email. Okay. But so, we don't have to only email. We can communicate. Like, we, I can call you her. Can call her. Can yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can call her. I can talk to you. Run away. Run away. Run away. But that's not a quorum, right? That's not a quorum. So why okay? I think we just need to be aware that everything we do related to the Callahan House is could be subject to review. Um, if, if somebody requested the information, uh, I think one of the things we can do as a workaround is have working sessions that are three or less people. Uh, with, with Jacqueline and I, that would be a group of five that we could get together. And honestly, that's about what our working sessions have been. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think we, it's very workable. I, I think we can do it. I do think that it's prudent, though, particularly if we're talking about fundraising or anything else, that maybe we do those a little to make sure that those are extremely open. That that's because we're talking about financials. And that is where people get thinking that there's secret handshakes done behind the scenes. We know that that's not what we're doing. But because we're trying to discuss the big fundraiser of, of, of writing this grant, and it is a big thing, um, that we're really open about mm -hmm. that and what we're doing. And this is huge for the Callahan House, mm -hmm. and I look at it as a great opportunity. And under that, because it's under new business, I know you have future agenda things down here, um, but this is coming under new business because one of the things that was discussed is the big 150th anniversary, and we discussed the Callahan anniversary of how long we've been here, mm -hmm. too. Um, from going on this information, we're going to have to get approval from, obviously we're going through the through where we need to be in here and discussing it through the city and, and what we're supposed to be getting approved, but we're also gonna have to have approval from the city council on how we're going about doing the fundraising. This is what was brought up by Eugene, that he wants to look at those letters before we bring them out or anything in regards to, he was very clear statement that he wanted to look at that before we even go out for sponsorship. And that was one of those, yeah, it was that. Yeah, yeah, that he's like, what? Yeah. Because I'm asking questions because what I was he? What he, was he questioning on that? He wants to make sure that we're following city policy and that if we're going out and asking for sponsorships, he wants to make sure that um, we're doing it with all the legal I's, dots, and T's crossed, and he just wants to make sure that we're doing it in clearance, and that was something he raised eyebrows about, because I said, well, can well I, we were planning on approaching, his, his rationale is he wants to make sure that um, we have the funding from the city, because we're doing a matching grant, and he wants to make sure that's all approved before we go out to the public with asking for matching funds. And that was something that was just discussed. Am I off on this, Connie? He, he said a little bit. I didn't hear a lot of the conversation that you had with him. But so having to do with the... It's, it's the just the clarity. Making sure that the city already has what we have on our end so that when we're going and asking for these other funds, we already have the support of that on Yeah, on that, that, that we make sure that we're, it's a blessing. It's, it's like the blessing. That's a reasonable thing. Because yeah. asking us to check with them on sponsorship for everything is not well, reasonable. Right. 
but if we're talking about a grant thing and matching funds, there's that's more to it because of yeah. the city's responsibility into a grant. So I guess I guess I understand that. We would never accomplish anything. Well, this is where I did this. Let me add that. Let me add this one thing. I I I like Eugene a lot. I think he's I think he's pretty level headed. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Um, the, the attorneys are our advisors, they're right. not our boss, they're not your boss, they're not my boss, yep. they're not your boss. Um, they are there to advise us and right. we want to listen to their advisements advice. as much as possible, but we also all need to get our work done too. Yes. And so, just realize that, I guess, okay. I'm not saying don't listen to him because I think he's right because we need to make sure we have that city support. but. I think that needs to be. I don't think okay, everything has, everything doesn't have to be run by them every single time. Okay. Um, this, is talking, this, is this is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah, right. I, I'm on board with that. But I, 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 I just I don't want it to become too scary. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and thank Ben. Thank you so much for the clarification. That's exactly kind of this is to me. Um, from my understanding, and, and this is my viewpoint, is that it's a we're going for. A big grant. Um, we're going for a big time grant that we're going to do all the bells and whistles and, and make sure this is the sparkly castle that it, it is and the jewel in the city cap. Mm -hmm. And uh, in order to do that, I think we um, we make sure that we're doing it correctly. Mm -hmm. And um, we're not talking about doing this every year. Um, we're talking about doing a big one and making sure that we're doing this right. And because of that, and the fact that it's gonna fall in the 150th anniversary of the city, I think this is good because we can look at it as a home run for all of us. It's a win-win for everybody, for us, for the city, for the city council, for everything. And, and that to me is great. So um, again, if we get the blessing from from the city council and then they can get on board, I. I look at that as a positive, yeah. not as a negative. Yeah, I, I agree. And and so, okay, this might push us off from October and put us our deadline into applying for the following year in April. I'm not saying we're not going to move forward. We're just going to slow it down a little bit, put the brakes on just partially, so we're not overwhelming anything. And to be honest, we have to be clear that we're not impeding on any events or anything else that are, are happening with the house while we go and move forward and get a working plan on when we're going to do this and how we're going to do this and, and what our goals. This is going to stop us from starting in, starting the grant. It's just going to stop us from maybe postponing when we turn it in type of thing. It's just going to slow us down a little it's bit. It's going to slow us down a little bit. And maybe. And maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe. We should we, push. We can, not we can, we can push. Time and I can, I can help with that. We can, right. Jeff can help with that. If we have some information we need to get reviewed quickly, um, I'll put something on the calendar to show you what we've got so far. Okay. Well, and I am so working with the city budget, and this is well, I know about the rest of you. This is this news for us. How is this going to work? Can we do it? Is is if we can't meet it through the city, then how can we as a board step forward to make sure that we're being proactive to raise the funds to help our we, community? We can absolutely do it. I, I, it's I, not an if, it's a how. It's a how. It's that's a how. exactly it. And we're, gonna, and we're gonna figure it out, and there's a lot of advisors and helpers. Mm -hmm. Christina will be happy to help us. Good. History Colorado has offered help. I know. We, we just need to, to buckle down and figure out what we're doing and, and how we're gonna do it, and work through it stepwise, one, one step at a time. And I think this is great positiveness in the sense that History Colorado is the one that we're playing the grant mm -hmm. through. And I don't know if you guys are aware, um, if you watch PBS at all, I'm a total PBS buff. Mm -hmm. So um, they do um, a show called Colorado, and, and they've been doing lots of shows about um, down in Denver, the various different people down in Denver. Mm -hmm. Because we're applying for this grant, <coughs> I think of this as a great opportunity to possibly get coverage about the Callahan House and the history of Longmont for the 150th anniversary and possibly getting some filming done and put us on 
the Colorado experience mm -hmm. um, because they're supplying the grant and we could say this arm would be wonderful and fabulous and I have a few contracts that way so this would be another jewel that would be amazing to show off um, how great we are as the Callahan House and the Callahan's anniversary mm -hmm. um, uh, when it was built as well as Longmont's 150th anniversary. That's my little tidbit on that. So yay us. Um, so yay, yay. So um, on that note, um, does anybody else have more comments um, in regards to that? I think we keep working our way through it. Okay. Okay, that's what we're doing. Moving forward. Um, other business. Uh, the business cards for board members. Uh, I have feelers out to um, a couple different sources to try and figure out how we can get small quantities mm -hmm. of business cards, either by printing them ourselves or by getting them done somewhere. So I, I've got that in process. Um, I've got a call out to Marika to see if there is a digital version of the card that we can just customize and print ourselves. Okay. Or, um, and I talked to Ron's Printing, they can do um, quantities of 100 That's each. That's so much. Those well, uh, she said 25 costs the same as 100. So you um, might as well get, get 100. The other thing I thought about is um, we could also just print a Callahan House Advisory Board card. Mm -hmm and then um, put a space on the back where you can write your name and phone number. Mm -hmm. that, uh, would that suffice? I personally think that's perfectly fine. I know it's Anne, usable. Anne mm -hmm. wanted more of a printed version, but I think yeah. it's fine. Well, it would be printed it's on the front. On that mm -hmm. list, mm -hmm. And then you could flip that's it over right. on the back yeah. and, and put it's your name and phone number. And I think that's reasonable. I mean, is there any does that make sense? Because that, that would be really easy for me to do. Okay. Yeah. So um, with sense. that being said, we need to have an emotion to approve that that Kathy can move forward on those business cards. I move that we approve Kathy getting business cards uh, that are more generic. This Callahan House information on the front that we can put individual information on the back. Can I get Does that us? work? Can I get a second? I second. Okay, all in favor? Okay, uh, motion carries. Well, and if I can find a way to just get small quantities, then we'll revisit it. Check with Veronica. I know she's, she has some, she orders Kathy cards for us. So. Yeah, I called um, Marika to see if there was a digital template um, because they're really easy to print, you know, and then they're just perforated and you break them apart. So I'm, I'm, I do. I'm working on that, and I also called Ron's Printing, and I, I have another call out, I forget to who, but I put out feelers to figure out what the options were. Okay, um, okay future agenda items, um, the historic um, literature event. I don't know anything about that. Well, we talked about book signings, or and kind of in the context of Art Walk, the DAR book that was coming out. I All I did was pick up stuff from my notes. I don't think we necessarily have to talk about them today. I'm just trying to keep track okay, of what they are. I think yeah, um, Candy was working on that. Was she not, or am I missing? She was. She she was the one who brought up the, the DAR member that was publishing the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think we had basically said that we were not sure that would work for it. An entire event, an entire event, a part of an event. But a partial event would be? Like we had a table for a book signing at, at Art Walk or okay. I think that was the context. My notes were a little sketchy. Well, and she also stated that we possibly could host an event and it would be an income possibly event where- Like a book signing. Where, where they pay to be and then yet so it's income for us. But then did she say That to me is still foggy too. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, but if, they, if, they, if they pay, I mean if an author paid to have the house for book signing. That would be great. But that, that becomes a revenue event. That's right. not really a board event. Yeah. Or a community event. So or a community, community yeah. event. What I, had, what I had was, you know, mostly in the context of maybe having an author here during Art Walk. Mm -hmm. as a consideration of the other creative arts like writing. Mm -hmm. Which is one of the things we had discussed that we might base one art walk around a, a literature or poetry right. or something. But it, it, it makes it, making revenue. 
Yeah, well, okay, it's that not charge the artist who's in here and then charge the author who's. Well, they're, they're part of artwork, and they would right. be an artist. And they would and be the, by the artists invitation. are selling their work, right. so it, to me, it's the same thing. I don't, it is the same thing. I don't think we could round up enough authors to have just an author event, and honestly, that's really the purview of the library. Right. Um, but I think if there's a specific book that relates to the history of Colorado, yeah. then we could include them as one of our artists at Artwalk. Mm -hmm. I agree. Is, is that a better clarification? To, are we less foggy that we would approach them just like we would any artist with an invitation to come and present and be in a space in which they can yes. present their work? I That's what I had my appropriate notes. though. As, as long as it's got a touchstone of some sort with mm -hmm. Callahan House. Yes. Yeah. Or yes. the Callahans themselves. Like there was there was a DAR book or that came J C Penny. A DAR like, member who mm -hmm. was writing a book about either Boulder County or Longmont specifically. Mm -hmm. There's also Eric Mason's bringing out a book mm -hmm. about Longmont. Eric's that great. might be another another opportunity. But I just I didn't want to lose sight of it. So okay. And I, I don't know that these are necessarily things we have to discuss in the meeting. All I'm trying to do is keep track of them so that when it's appropriate, we can add them into the agenda. Well, um, I think when we originally talked about going that direction, like having themes to our art walks, and right. what, one would be a fashion theme, one would be a literature theme, and that doesn't mean every book has to pertain to the Callahan House. It could be like, it could even be like um, the process of making paper or something is artistic that has to do with, but isn't that what we talked about? It, uh, well, it, it, it's books a possible, well, we have several avenues. Well, this whole started with the with the dresses. We would want to keep the it consistent in the flow of the event. So, I think it's great that we have a a, a um, writer here and somebody. And but then does that limit only to, to the books? No, I think we have other artists as well. Right. Um, maybe we have an illustrator that's, but that's a something. What I'm saying, if you wanted to do a literature theme and you didn't want it to be just books that were about the cat and house, you could. We could broaden that to like, you know, illustrating children's book and so things like that. Do we have a separate committee that only does and works on our walk? Usually it's been two people. Two people. So Anne, and right now I don't think Anne has a helper, but she hasn't really wanted one either. She, she's been doing it herself. Okay. Um, but in the past, we've had as many as two people just kind of working on that. I think we should get a working committee that only works on our walk, and I think as it's a, it, it would be appropriate that, um, in a lot of ways, this is exactly what I'm talking about with our walk. That's great, and because she's the, the go-to person, but we're discussing it anyway. And this is something that maybe we should be, as a board, just working on in general. So it's it's a working session. Mm -hmm. That's again my belief. What, what what do you guys think? What's your opinion on it? Connie, do you have any thoughts? Well, the, um, I guess this is what the meetings are for here. <laughs> so, so the um, need to have a separate committee is yeah, not I necessarily. I, I think know. it slows down the process of getting things done yeah. because if every time you go to do something, you've got to discuss it or meet, so at the time you meet, it just. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we have to sign at this meeting where we right. discuss it, you go do that and you go do that. So this should be, our walk should be part of the working meeting in my opinion yeah. because in some ways this meeting should really only be an hour a lot of ways guys and if we could put it onto the agenda of a working meeting we can, we can then assign tasks and work faster. Again, I don't know. What's your opinion? Well, I'm new to this process and new to how does it we fit into artwork how much effort really on our part goes into this how much work how much how many hours mm -hmm. so my opinion's maybe not very valid there but it seems like we as a group should come up with that i think because if there's a side working meeting they're still going to come back to our regular meeting and then we're still yeah, all going to talk it. about it right yeah. exactly the you know, um, it's just kind of the the purpose of art walk in the past for us has been having a solid um, event to wrap our open houses around right. and um, Art Walk has been a consistent event with regular times 
where there is a fairly large draw into downtown, mm -hmm. um, which which gave us something to feed off of, mm -hmm. um, and, and to open the house in a really structured manner that didn't require a, a ton of work. Yeah. Um, and so uh, what we've done is we've had one or two people who have actually um, done the work to recruit the artists, and that's usually four or five artists, um, and then um, work with them to communicate the expectations and when they can get in and you know how much room they're going to have. Uh, my guess is Anne you know, has you know, 10 to 15 hours per art walk invested in it in those communications. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's not a major effort. The intention was never to make it a huge mm -hmm. um, all-out effort. It was more just to um, open the house to the public in conjunction with an event that's already happening so that we could tap mm -hmm. um, the attendance from that event to get attendance here. Mm -hmm. And it's sure. worked well. It, it's worked really well. Yes. It's um, not that many of them change it. It does make sense. I mean, my yeah. preference would be not to make it more of a thing than it is. Than it is. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I don't have any objection to theming it if we can find a theme that works. Yeah. But usually what happens is it ends up being uh, because of people's availability, the artist's availability and their willingness to do it, it ends up being kind of a hodgepodge of, of artists and that's really kind of worked for us okay. because there's something here for everybody when it's exactly. through. Exactly. So uh, my preference would be to keep it more casual and work harder on the fundraising aspects mm -hmm. of something else. Right. Uh, that's social media. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your input, Kathy. I appreciate that. Um, I really wish Anne, Anne and um, Candy were here so we could have the whole board input. Um, because we, we can talk more next time. Yeah. Because the, because this is Anne's baby and she she has her 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 thoughts on it. So um, I just want to make sure that it doesn't isn't falling on one person and that we're all on the same page and again it's a, it's a, a um, collective effort and a collective chose. vision absolutely she she's chose. comfortable with that yes, she, she wanted she to, it. She wanted yes. to know yes. too. Yes. Yeah. And, and so she didn't get too many people and whatnot okay. <laughs> okay so i personally think if we 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 put that um i would like a motion that we keep that as a, a working um board effort to work on our walk um, as a full board, not as, as set into committees um, a subcommittee. Uh, or a subcommittee. Mm -hmm. um, again, I'm just officiating the meeting, guys. I cannot put forth an, a motion. Um, that is up to you. Anybody's opinion on that? If or leave it as is. Do we leave have it as to have a motion to We leave could just it? leave it as is. If that's yeah. where, where you're at, we'll no, just leave it as we, is. Well, the, we do. Yeah. The other, my other comment would be if we really want to change the complexion of it, mm -hmm. I would really rather do that for September than do it for May. Absolutely. It's too, li too late at this point to yeah. change yeah. anything for May. I think we're going to move forward um, where we are in May. but. Again, to have clarification for the meeting, either, either I, I would hope that we either have a motion that we could say that we're leaving it is, that we're changing it, or something along those lines. But again, to have a clarification for the meeting, it would be a uh, legitimate procedure to put a motion forth by somebody in that we either leave it and we have a vote on it, or, or and I know this is something new to us, okay? This is new to a lot of people, but but this this is if we can move forward and do this in a systematic manner that we either leave it or it is and move forth and we continue to to look at any changes that we would like forth in September. That'd be great. But me as the chair cannot put forth a motion. I can't do that. You guys have to make that decision. If you, it, 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 I would just like I would like to have a motion of some kind so we can. Put it in the minutes and have it clear. Does that make sense? So one of you two has to make a motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I make a motion that we leave it as is. Great. Can I have a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, motion carries. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's a little painful, but we'll get there. Okay. Um, 
rededication, sponsorship, thank you, and grand opening concept. That's way out. Way out there. Yeah. So um, again, that falls into the big dream picture when mm -hmm. fireworks sparkles, everything happens perfectly and we do all the things. So at this point, I don't think there's much we can discuss on that. Um, moving forth to the um, closing that, anybody else have comments on, on the grand opening that we need to discuss at this point? No. Okay. Um, the Longmont 150th anniversary. Any comments? Any? I just actually been thinking about what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And if Anne was here, she'd be figuring out what we're going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> she would. Yes, she would. What costumes are we going to wear this morning? We yeah. all get our sewing machines out. <laughs> and get busy. I so. do know that there is a lot of talk around in the city, uh, the library, in different places now, and it's it's kind of an awareness thing. It's like, oh yeah, okay, we need to be we need talking to about, about this, yeah, because it's next year. Yeah, I think and it's it's important that we're discussing it, and I also think if we work as a as a team and we get like a wheel concept that we're just one spoke in the wheel we don't have to recreate the wheel if we're all working together to figure it out so if we can have the communication what's going on with the library what's going on with the Hover home what's going on with old mill park um Longmont Museum. Longmont Museum, what's going with, on with the downtown development? What is everybody doing? Let's try to get on the same page mm -hmm. so we can work in a cohesive manner to make this great. Do we know whether there is an actual city task force that's working that's on this specific thing? I want to say no. I would have heard of such a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I will venture that before yeah. Yeah. at some point here we'll, <coughs> we'll is that going to get put on your table whether you thought about it or not? It, yeah, it'll, it'll end up, I'll end up talking about it. Well, I will just communicate it. with us. Yeah, I'll, yeah, anything I hear, Good. I'll make sure that she knows yeah. and then yeah. that gets back to you guys um, because I'm sure we, you will see something yeah. like that. Yeah, and since we're a spoke instead of a wheel, and it will likely be the we need to museum and that. library. Right. Yeah, that's we'll exactly right. Yeah, that museum. Um, try to need that friends. push. Um, so I'll I'll make sure Jeff knows that if he mm -hmm. hears anything too. Yeah, yeah. are they sure? Yeah. A big celebration or parade? I have heard any of that this stuff? today is the first time I even knew next year. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 Well, I know the historical society is very different. Oh yeah, for sure. sure. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and of course that's the Longmont Museum. Long but as a sitting discussion, I don't think it's really happened yet. But okay. When it does, we'll bring it back to you guys because absolutely we want to be involved in that. Well, and the house will be 129 next year. Yay. And it's 83rd anniversary of going to the city. Mm -hmm. so I can't figure that out. That's yeah. nice. So, and I think Sorry. we celebrate our 129th, you know, yay, yay us. Right. Um, hate to say that we don't want sparklers because that's a black house. But, <laughs> you know, and you have to have a permit. To <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 that just opens up another <laughs> which we're not going down. So well, that's there's a lot of environmentally friendly. I know it's up. So we got to figure out that's something that's else. That's 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 that we, the original I jazz social that we did was for the 70th anniversary of the Callahan house belonging to the city of Longmont. Yes. We celebrated that as the 75th, and that was what inaugurated the Ice yeah. Cream Social. Yes. But, um, and it was very successful, and yeah. you know, having an antique automobile here, and I, I just, it was cool. just, it was yeah. very It cool. was fun. That's that's it really was. And yeah, the yeah. nickel. Yeah. And the old photographs, and yep. all that. So it was just, it was very fun. Yeah. Okay, on that note, is there anything else that we need to discuss um, that hasn't been discussed that sh that we skipped over? Or? Um, I wanted to just let, bring up something with you guys that we talked about uh, behind the scenes a little bit. And because you guys are, to me, a little bit unique in that you are on the board, but you also um, do a lot of the volunteering, the vast majority of the volunteering for um, Kathy and for the for the facility, 
it's a it's an interesting position because a, vol a volunteer is is an official city thing. Mm -hmm. We have official city guidelines for volunteers. Mm -hmm. And do you guys fall underneath that umbrella at some points and this umbrella at some points? And right. I don't know. I, so I and I have had can some discussions. Talk without and recording our minutes if we're yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it, it's just I wanted to bring that up to you guys, and that, that it's something we're it's kind of looking at. Along those lines, something I forgot um, since I've only been back in the office one day. Um, there is because you are going to be driving on board business um, and using your own vehicles to go see sponsors and also to go down with the dresses. Um, they want to do checks on your driving lessons or your driving licenses and records. So wow. I will send you that information so that you can follow through. Wow. That's, linked, that's linked to the volunteer thing. Yeah. Okay. And I did ask that, that question last a, week. We don't have a clear answer. We don't have clear answers, but I think they're just trying to be prudent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and that I'll get I'll get that information out to you as soon as I clarify what it is. Karen Friesner sent out a, a, a request, and I, always in the past I've ignored that because my assumption was that because you guys were on the board, that you, that was all kind of covered. But I sent her, well, I sent her an email and said, you know, I, I just really think I should check on this because my board members are going to be doing some outside work using their own vehicles, and she said, oh yes, we need to do that. So, but I don't know what that entails. So as soon as I get that information, I'll just send it to you. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Kathy, for trying to get mm -hmm. some clarification on yep. a lot of gray matters as we're moving mm -hmm. forward, and a little clarification. And thank you, Ben. Yeah, if yeah. we can get clarification on, I will some work. We'll work on some more. Of the, one of the problems has been that it has been a couple of years since we have touched the volunteer manual, and we never actually completed. And I can't tell you why at that point uh, the work stopped, but there were those in, usually it seems to be because legal gets stuck, but okay. just, or doing something else, <laughs> yeah. having other legal priorities, let's say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it ends up, it's not a perfect system. And so yeah. I just want to let you guys know that. And so things like this, I think they're yeah. just trying to fill their gaps and make sure we're, we're, we're covered. We're covered. That's your well cover. That's yeah. your cover. Because there, there are protections to volunteers that are very specific to the city, too, yes. that we want to make sure you guys are always a part of. And so just so you know, it's something we're, we're looking at and over the next period of time, we'll, we'll kind of get it figured out. Easier. Well, and at the next meeting, I'll also bring volunteer firms and just have you all sign them. And that way, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just cover you with however. Okay. okay, then I, I think it helps for us to kind of know where we fit. I did, I did get a little tickle about um, the mayor saying that we're here and we're part of helping and making the city work. And thank you for your time and thank you for doing this. We're not getting paid for any of this. And yes, again, it, everything that we get to help clarify what we can do make move forward <coughs> work in a good manner I think it's all positive I, I, I've got to look at it that way and and we'll we'll move forward in the best way that we know how um, at this point I don't think we have any other business to discuss thank you for being here Ben I really appreciate it yeah, um, yes. Very much so. anything else guys that you can think of okay I need a motion so adjourn. Okay, can I get a second? I second it. All in favor? Aye, aye, I need aye. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.